Let's take a look at some running back training camp battles with SI senior fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano. Fabs, let's go to Detroit first. We got DeAndre Swift, second year running back for the Lions. And then Jamal Williams, who signed a uh, free agent deal this offseason. What do you make of this backfield? Who's the back to own for fantasy teams? It's still DeAndre Swift, but there's certainly been some things said during the offseason and into the summer months that concern me uh, about his workload. He showed flashes of potential last season. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Adrian Peterson uh, really put a dent into his touches overall. But when he was more of a featured back, Swift did produce. Here's the problem. Uh, head coach Dan Campbell has come out and said that this is going to be a one-two punch with Swift and Williams. And offensive coordinator Anthony Lynn has said that Williams is the classic A-back. Didn't mention Swift. Uh, that concerns me somewhat. And when you also consider that Campbell said that they would ride the hot hand, on a week-to-week -week basis? Well, what if Swift doesn't have that hot hand? What if it's Williams? Williams has been a pretty good back in the NFL, uh, played second fiddle to Aaron Jones. But remember, when Jones was injured over the last couple of seasons, Williams would certainly be in that running back two conversation uh, in terms of starts and sits. So this is going to be a committee. Swift is still the back to own. He's likely going to cost you a third-round pick but Williams is going about 60 to 70 picks behind him. So if you're looking for the better bargain in Detroit, it could be Jamal Williams. Also, folks, keep this in mind. The Lions are going to be bad, like really bad, like three win bad, which means negative game scripts uh, could be in the future of both of these backs very soon. Luckily, they're both pretty good pass catchers. But once again, it's going to be difficult to really determine on a week to week basis unless someone emerges. Uh, who to start and who to sit on a regular basis. So uh, neither one of these backs is more than a low RB2. Uh, and I actually like grabbing Jamal Williams a little bit later in drafts as my running back four. Yeah, you brought up the fact that Williams has a significantly lower ADP, certainly a bargain buy in those later rounds for a running back of, of his caliber. Let's go to Jacksonville, focus on the Jaguars for a little bit, because James Robinson he was the fantasy football breakout candidate for 2020. He was incredible. And then they go out and draft Travis Etienne in the first round this year. So how are things going to shake up down there in Jacksonville's backfield? That's why we have to watch the competition, my friend, because this one is going to be very close. I don't see a scenario where either one of these guys breaks away from the other unless someone gets hurt. Okay, James Robinson, as you mentioned, the RB7 last season. He was tremendous, folks. He averaged right around 18 points per game, uh, finished uh, as the RB7 despite the fact that he missed two games due to injuries. This is an undrafted player who is better than every other rookie running back in the 2020 class. Uh, the Jaguars, as you mentioned, bring in Etienne, so he's been brought in by this regime under Urban Meyer. Here's the good news. I think the Jags are going to run the ball a lot, right? You got a rookie quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. You don't want to put too much on his shoulders. Urban Meyer, what did he do at Ohio State? He ran the football a whole heck of a lot. And also keep in mind Daryl Bevel, who's the OC, uh, during Russell Wilson's rookie season, they established the run in Seattle uh, very much to support their rookie quarterback. So there could be enough touches to go around where these guys could have standalone flex value during the course of the season. I think Etienne's going to be the better bet in PPR leagues, which is really the only leagues that I play in at this point. Uh, so Etienne, I have ranked higher than James Robinson. But Bill, there's a scenario out there where Robinson is the starter, the early down back, the goal line option. And Etienne is utilized as a pass-catching specialist and a compliment, a guy who could be that home run hitter in a one-two punch. And also, don't forget, Carlos Hyde is also in this mix, right? I mean, and he has that relationship with Urban Meyer from their time together at Ohio State. Uh, in fact, Scott Hansen from NFL Network was at Jags camp recently, and Carlos Hyde got some work with the ones. So that confuses things even more. So again, at this point, Etienne is the best bet uh, from a fantasy perspective, probably worth a fifth round pick as a flex. James Robinson will likely go in the sixth round, once again, as a flex. Uh, but until we get some clarity here, it's going to be really difficult to trust either one of these backs. It's unfortunate because several of the top running backs in the 2021 class went to teams, Bill, that really didn't need running backs. Uh, and that's made things a little bit difficult to navigate here uh, in the summer months. All right, it is officially fantasy football draft prep season, and we got plenty of research up on Sports Illustrated. Go check it out. Updated rankings, plenty of articles, great stuff from Michael Fabiano. You can find it all by going to si.com slash fantasy.